Put out the fire of anger before it blazes out of control. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Linda Washington. Linda writes, As I had dinner with a friend, she expressed how fed up she was with a particular family member. But she was reluctant to say anything to him about his annoying habit of ignoring or mocking her. When she did try to confront him about the problem, he responded with sarcastic remarks. She exploded in anger at him. Both parties wound up digging in their heels, and the family rift widened. I can relate, because I handle anger the same way. I also have a hard time confronting people. If a friend or a family member says something mean, I usually suppress how I feel until that person or someone else comes along and says or does something else mean. After a while, I explode. Maybe that's why the Apostle Paul in Ephesians 4.26 said, Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Providing a time limit on unresolved issues keeps anger in check. Instead of stewing over a wrong, which is a breeding ground for bitterness, we can ask God for help to speak the truth in love. Had a problem with someone? Rather than hold it in, hold it up to God first. He can fight the fire of anger with the power of His forgiveness and love. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15, and verses 26 through 32. Here's verse 15. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of Him who is the head, that is, Christ. And verses 26 through 32. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work, doing something useful with their own hands, that they may have something to share with those in need. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. That's today's scripture reading from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15 and verses 26 through 32. Let's pray. Lord, please help us to control our anger. Help us to have the self-control to turn away from that. May the words that we speak honor you and lift up others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.